Today, we're gonna to talk about military standard testing. Military standard testing is a thorough set of specifications that all operational equipment that goes to the United States military goes through to make sure that it can work in any environment. Anything that goes into the hands of soldiers, Marines, airmen, or our sailors needs to be working, whether it be a walkie-talkie, uh, whether it be some sort of uh, GPS guidance device, whether it be a drone in the, the operational field, uh, needs to be tested to make sure that it works in any environment. So military standards and the thoroughness of the testing are, are critically important because we need to make sure that when we're communicating a signal or are calling a fellow comrade on the field, that that piece of equipment is going to work when it's very cold, right? We have people that serve in Alaska and overseas in, in a variety of cold conditions. So most military standards go down to minus 70 C. Uh, we also have to make sure that that same sort of operational equipment is also going to be working in the desert over in, in hot climates. So those standards also go up to uh, 170C, they have a variety of, of conditions and environmental elements that are, are critically important to make sure that the operational effectiveness of the American warfighter is at peak efficiency. There are multiple military standards when it comes to test and analysis, but the two main ones that we work with at all test is MIL standard A10. MIL standard A10 is specific to environmental. So when you think hot, cold, altitude, shock, liquid, shake, and we also work with MIL standard 461, which is EMI related to emissions and susceptibility testing with uh, electronics and electrical warfare. MIL standard testing is not limited to just defense. There is immense commercial and consumer applications that we use every day, from duct tape to GPS guidance to the internet, all of which were, were started as concept by the Department of Defense they were front loaded uh, with the funding, the research and development, the thorough testing time, the military standards, and then eventually were put out into the consumer market. And we benefit from, from all of those things today. We have two types of customers that are involved in military standard testing. First of which is the small, medium, and large test and measurement labs that do compliance and certification for military standards. Those include large players like TUV, Intertech and Eurofins, and they include all of the other mom and pop and, and medium-sized test labs that need to do military standard for MIL-810, MIL-461, and play other supportive roles in the defense and technology industry to make sure that military testing is thorough and specific. The second customer that we deal with quite often at all tests is the inventors and innovators of defense technology themselves. There are gonna be names you recognize like Lockheed Martin, Boeing, Raytheon, Northrop Grumman, L3 Harris, and all of the uh, subsidiary companies associated and all of the contractors and, and subcontractors that are inventing and innovating the cutting edge technology that we're going to use in defense now, in the future, and by proxy in the consumer market in the years to come. Whether you're a compliance test lab or you're an OEM developing defense technology, we can help you. We provide a litany of equipment for military standards, test chambers. We provide benchtop electrical testing equipment like analyzers and generators, or we provide turnkey systems and an expert consultancy for technical matters related to military standard testing. Please reach out. We'd love to learn how we can help you.